Boulevard project is focused on the growth of Rossville Boulevard, hoping to one day see it become a popular hub for local neighbors, as well as an attractive site for small business owners. Tonight, a community forum was held to see how the committee's ideas could potentially become reality. Those in Rossville's Boulevard project see nothing but potential for the neighborhood built up of both Georgians and volunteers. Tonight, members of the nonprofits, Chattanooga City Council, and Hamilton County Regional Planning Agency all spoke on what could lie ahead. We have amazing makers and creators in the city, and everyone needs a home and a place for that stuff to go. So we would love to, you know, connect with whoever spot we can and just say, hey, why not Rossville Boulevard? We think it would be a great spot for what you're doing. Advisory Board Member Melanie Lusk says the organized farmers markets that began this summer are just one example of what the boulevard could become with further developments. However, many said during the forum that before more businesses and community spots can be developed, the Two Mile Street itself needs to be physically assessed. Safety, I think, is first and foremost when we, when we look at the, the traffic patterns along Rossville Boulevard and the lack of cr crosswalks and lack of railroad crossing notifications. It's really about looking at the infrastructure of the actual um, Rossville Boulevard corridor. The nonprofit says the boulevard sees an average of 25,000 cars a day. However, LeBlanc says it's more than just a speedway to get from Georgia to Chattanooga with the proper rezoning and business plan. She and her team believe their home will only flourish. What can we do to make this a stopping place, a destination place? So between now and this time next year, we would love to see this be more of a destination where even if it's just one or two new places open, that people can come and stop and shop and spend time with their family and friends. Some further suggestions at tonight's forum to revitalize the boulevard included pedestrian, work and gathering spaces, living spaces, and even a food truck park. Co-director Heather Herwayer says the committee's next course of action could be to form a local business association. Live from the studio, Jordan Simmel, News 12.